would say like two to three different videos in one of just like short updates and also some things I picked up recently and then the majority of this video is going to be like an equestrian empties video because I have some products I would like to review and then also just toss in the trash because they are completed and I just want to recycle them and just provide my thoughts on them. But anyway, first I'll start off with the tack haul stuff that I got. I don't know why, but I feel like very rusty filming today. So I apologize for that if you guys notice it. But let's get into the products I got recently. I went to Dover about a month ago now. I'm still waiting on my boots to come in. I had in a previous tack haul that I ordered some of their tall boots, but then they didn't end up fitting me. So I went to the store directly, returned them, and then I ordered the same pair just in a different size, but it's currently on back order. So I'm waiting for that to ship to the store and then I'm gonna go pick it up. But while I was at the store, I picked up two things and one of them were these Wall Pocket Pro cordless trimmers. And I'm gonna be using this mainly to clean up fe Tipsy's fetlocks and also like bridle path and maybe like outside of the ears, depending on how well they clip. Like it's got two different guards right here. It's got some clipper oil and then a battery, which is awesome. And Tipsy is actually fairly good for her bridal path and bitlocks to be clipped. But I figured these are just like really easy to have in my grooming kit and they're really affordable. I for $14.95 at Dover, which really isn't bad. So I'm excited to have these again. I had these as a kid and I really liked them. So it'll be nice to just kind of keep in my grooming box or if I go to like a show or anything, I can have these in my little show grooming kit just in case because they're super easy. And then speaking of grooming things, I got a spray bottle. I have been wanting to kind of play around with different sprays. I currently have like the healthy hair care moisturizer and water mixed up along with a couple other things in there. And I figured I'd get another spray bottle just in case. I am super close to finishing my Absorbine, Absorbine liniment gel. So I decided to pick up this one, which is the Horse Health Products original cool pack green jelly and this has a lot of product in here and I feel like I go through the absorbing one pretty quickly a lot of people swear by this stuff and I haven't actually used it before but I figured that's a decent amount of liniment gel and this one was $24.95 I've seen it anywhere from this price up to like $38 I didn't think $25 was that bad for 64 fluid ounces of product, which is pretty large. So I'm excited to use this, especially after like a hard ride. I think this should feel really nice on Tipsy's joints. And the last thing I got that I purchased was this little rack right here. I'm gonna put this on Tipsy's stall and then I can have some racks for my sprays and things like that. So before I get into the equestrian empties, I just wanna provide some little updates on Tipsy. She has been settling in really well to the new barn. She really likes her herd. She's really calmed down a lot and she seems very happy. She has been going fairly well barefoot except for when I got her trimmed last week and she really didn't get that much off, but I think she was just very sensitive. So she was a bit sore after her trim and then I was unable to ride her in what was supposed to be our first lesson together last Saturday. So she's had the week off. I'm also treating her for hind gut ulcers currently. So I'm gonna give her some time off just to kind of feel good. And I have her in the Cavello boots right now in turnout, but she's been really, really pleasant to handle. The staff really likes her and I'm just really happy I made the move. And I think Tipsy enjoys the new barn as well. Now we're gonna move on to the equestrian empties. So first I have two bags of my favorite treats. These are the Nutra Good Low Sugar Apple Snacks. I love these. I love that they're low sugar. I love that they're tiny, so they're really good for like positive reinforcement or training, and they smell really good. I think a lot of horses do like them. I've been going through them quickly because I've been trying to do a lot more positive reinforcement stuff on the ground with Tipsy and also a little bit under saddle too. Went through them pretty quickly, but I will still continue to rebuy these treats. Next, I have one of the supplements that Tipsy's on. This is the Elevate maintenance powder, natural vitamin E. I originally bought this for both horses when Sassy got EPM. Vitamin E is really helpful for horses that have EPM. I forget exactly why, but I think their vitamin E levels just kind of drop when they have it. But I decided to put Tipsy on it as well. And it is around like $45. And I think it lasts me around two to three months. Next for equestrian empties, I have two Equus products. 
I have the Marigold Spray and I also have the Avocado Mist. The Marigold Spray is a natural botanical equine rehydrant spray, so like a coat spray. And then the Avocado Mist is a conditioner and detangler. It is infused with avocado oil. It's also for use on horses, dogs, and cats, which is pretty cool. And I'm not sure about this one, but it's supposed to moisturize the skin and coat. I don't think I notice a big difference with the Marigold Spray. It smells so good. If you want a product that smells really good to apply to your horse, this is definitely a good one. But I feel like the Healthy Hair Care makes Tipsy look super shiny and soft. And I feel like this didn't really do a whole lot of that. So I will definitely be buying the Healthy Hair compared to this more often. But I wouldn't not buy this again. I just think the Healthy Hair Care stuff is better. As for the Avocado Mist, I do think it's a good product. It doesn't have silicones in it. It's a good conditioner and detangler. It doesn't detangle as good as the mane and tail detangler that I have right now. I think that one might have silicones in it, which is probably why I feel like it detangles more. But this one is more... This one's better to actually hydrate, so I'll probably buy this soon. I don't have it currently, but I've been buying this for at least a year or two now, and I do really like this product. Next, I have a few grooming products as well. This is a like travel size or sample size of the Color Flex Show Pro All-in-One Finishing Spray. And this was a nice product. It was like a coat spray, it's supposed to make the horses look shiny. And I didn't really think it made them look that shiny. I had this in my grooming kit. I feel like I forgot about it fairly often, so I can't really provide like a really great review on it. But it did work okay when I did use it. But again, I like the healthy hair care stuff better. So this is actually a human hair product, but I used it on Tipsy because it was just a small bottle and it was really heavy for my own hair. But this was the Capri Clear 100% fractionated coconut oil spray and it is for dry, itchy, and sensitive skin. So I used this on my hair, it was too heavy for it, so I brought it and I started using it on Tipsy's coat or on her mane and tail and it made her nice and soft. I did dump like the teeniest bit into my Healthy Hair Care Spray to kind of mix it up a little bit but I don't even know where to buy this, but I did use it on Tipsy and it seemed to work okay, but there's other things that work better in my opinion. And then the last thing I have is the Cowboy Magic Concentrated Detangler and Shine. This stuff is awesome, especially if you have a really tangly tail. I like to make the tail nice and wet with the detangler, and then I also like to put this stuff in it and let it sit for like a few minutes while I'm like brushing a mane or maybe like picking feet or whatever. I probably should buy a bigger bottle than this because I go through it pretty quickly and I tend to brush tails at least once a week. I know that's probably a sin to a lot of people, but I think it does help keep the hair nice and healthy. And with your own hair, when you brush it, it stimulates your scalp. So I feel like it kind of stimulates the horse's tail as well when you brush it. Not that hard. I always spray a lot of conditioning product in and then I will start at the bottom and work my way up. But I feel like even just the brushing, it kind of like gets rid of dead skin and also kind of stimulates the hair growth a little bit, at least in my mind. Who knows if that's actually true. But anyway, love this product. I will continue to buy it and I need to repurchase it because it is really good. So that is it for this video. It was a mini tack haul, some updates on Tipsy's barefoot journey, and also equestrian empties. I'm hoping to have some like actual horsey content soon where you can see Tipsy. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I also have a beauty channel if you wanna check it out. It is called Courtney K. I'll have it linked down below. Hope you guys have an amazing day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Talk to you later, bye.